my name is Jason Jones, and I'd like to present to you an illuminated kaleidoscope from Mastel Precision with three different toric cases. As is usual, the limbus is marked preoperatively, which uh, these marks are aligned with using a Mendez ring, and then the axis is determined. Here you can see the short axis of the illuminated kaleidoscope corresponds nicely to the short axis determined preoperatively and with the markers. Now I have rotated to have my incision on the steep axis and once we have our lens in fairly good alignment you can see the two reflections, the Purkinje reflections, the white one off the cornea and then the yellow green one off of the lens. Note here using just the illumination from the illuminated kaleidoscope that the two short axes are 90 degrees opposite each other. And this also demonstrates a slight misalignment here, so we're just going to touch up our orientation for better correction. Having proper tension in the eye as well as moisture content on the surface is important to obtain a good reflection off the corneal surface. Once again, in this case here, we're on axis with our incision, and you can see the steep axis here corresponding fairly well with our corneal limbal marks, and that's denoted here. You can see 90 degrees opposite the Purkinje reflex, which is a yellow-green in nature, given the chromophore of the lens as well as the slight blue tint from the LED illumination. Note also the excellent centration with the red central dot. Once again, the short axis is readily identified.